Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. This is a 430XH that was shipped in from a customer who said that the mower just wouldn't do anything. No lights, no beeps, no chirps, no nothing. When we pulled it out of the box, we tried it out, flipped the main switch on and off, nothing. He was right. Menu screen doesn't light up, no beeps, nothing. Put it in a charging station, same thing, absolutely nothing. So we split the chassis open to see what was going on, make sure everything was hooked up right inside the mower, and what do we find? Lots of corrosion on metal surfaces, like on these motors here, and of course on the main board, which was causing this thing to do absolutely nothing. So while we had this mower apart, I want to take the time here to show you what caused this damage to the main board, and what you should be looking for to prevent this kind of damage on your mower. All right, so this 430XH here, we're going to run over the scenario of what happened with this machine and how it got that corrosion on the main board. So it came in because it was uh, it needed repair. It wouldn't power on, whether it was in a charging station or not. It just wouldn't do anything. We opened it up, determined that the main board was the issue, and the reason why the main board had failed was due to all the corrosion on it. So the next step is to figure out how all that corrosion got there. Where did that moisture come from? because replacing a main board is not a cheap process. It has to be done by a dealer because everything has to be programmed. So it's not something you can just, you know, find a deal on a main board on the internet or at a yard sale or something and throw it in there and off you go. This is something where you're gonna have to go through a dealer. You're probably gonna have to pay a decent amount of money to get this done and you don't want it to happen again. So new main board in there and you start to look for the clues as to where the moisture came from. And this one here was a very easy one. Uh, we didn't even have the main board out and replaced before we knew where the problem came from. And that's because we had the big sign right up front here. All this dirt right here in this corner. This is a sign that the bushings and uh, the plug right here were leaking and allowing water in. And you can tell by this dirt that it was puddling up there. And that's what caused this whole issue. And you're saying, okay, well... Yeah, there's dirt up front there, but how does that get back to the main board? Why did that cause an issue with the main board that is all the way in the back of the mower? Especially when you have these, these gussets here on the lower chassis, you know, water couldn't run through there. How is that even possible? You know, why didn't it affect this board down here, your, your front loop sensor? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, when this water lays up here and this thing's out mowing in the hot sun, you're going to get a lot of condensation and humidity inside this machine. And you're going to get that to start showing up on surfaces that get hot rather than uh, the ones that aren't used as much and stay fairly cool. All these components here on this main board, it's obviously going to be heating up and cooling down uh, a lot more often than your, your cutting height board here or your front loop sensor. And we also did see signs of this corrosion on the uh, the cutting motor itself here. So it wasn't just the the main board, but you know the main board is the big expense here, and that's the one that uh, we want to point out that you don't want to have a failure with your main board over something like this. So for as easy as it is to check these bushings and the the plugs there, uh, it, it's definitely worth your time. So now that you see this, we'll show you the actual grommets and uh, the, the plug that was in there and give you another idea of what to look for on the outside before you even take your mower apart, just to make sure everything is right and good to go. Okay, we're looking here at the top cover of the mower, and that's where we have our wires coming through uh, with the grommets on them. This is the one for the headlights. This is the one that uh, was a big culprit in, in this uh, mower's issues. And you have the one here for your charging plates. The third one would be on a, a 50 series, like a 450X, 450XH, uh, 550, 550H. And also on your all-wheel drives, you would have that third one for the ultrasonic sensors. On this one, because there's no ultrasonic sensors, you just have this, this cap, this plug that goes in there. So since I have this plug in my hand, we'll start with it. And I'm going to try to get my camera to focus on this. You see that gray area right there? and all the brown, that is a good sign that this was not sealed up right because that should be consistent the whole way around there. And then here you have it again, you have a little spot there. So that was not in there properly. Now you see that 
Just remember that there because I'm going to show you here on the charging plate grommet. You can see here consistent the whole way around. Your gray and your 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 brown there, the, the dirty part of this grommet. So this one was sealed up. Sorry about that. My camera keeps going out of focus there. Uh, this one was sealed up very well and there was no issues with this one. So you're seeing that one and then we'll come back here to this one and there you see that gray that's the big difference this this little gray area right here by my thumbnail you don't have that on this grommet right here for your charging plates so moisture is getting in around this one for sure and then on the headlight uh grommet here you can see that it's just it's dirty the whole way around there's dirt stuck in the groove where it would seal around the hole in the lower chassis so this one was really bad. I apologize for my, my camera not working properly here. Uh, there we go. Now we're in focus. But you can see here that, yeah, this has dirt all through that groove. And anytime you have dirt in there, that's going to prevent it from sealing. And the fact that you can see there, it's all waved up right here. Uh, it's not an even gap the whole way around. That's going to be a good sign that this was not sealing up properly. So a lot of issues here. You actually had... This grommet for your headlights and this plug here that was supposed to go in the empty hole, they were both allowing moisture into this automower. And the, uh, the third one, that's your exemplary one there. That's what you want it to look like. But you have the two of these and you say, okay, well, this is a high cut mower. Um, you know, it had to go through a deep puddle to do that, right? Well, you got to remember that the blades and everything are slinging slinging stuff up there there's wet grass being attracted to that and uh you know all that all that moisture around there is sooner or later going to make its way into the chassis especially when you've got uh issues like you do with this plug right here and you've got a gap like that and again on the, the headlight grommet where you can see that it was just letting everything in there because the entire top of this this grommet is completely brown you know, that's where the water is laying. Otherwise, it would be nice in a clean gray like this one or like this one. So those are big signs right there, big indications of uh, potential to cause damage to the inside of your automower, uh, all the components in there, your electric motors, your circuit boards, all of it. Uh, they can be damaged by the moisture coming through your, your bushings and your plugs and your grommets there on the bottom. And so that's something you definitely want to check. Just pop them out and check over them. Make sure they look like they're seated well. And you shouldn't have any worries if everything is seated in there properly. Another tip I want to give you here when it comes to the main board and corrosion is that when you do anything with any of these wires and cables coming in here to your main board, make sure that they are not laying against the main board itself. There's a couple culprits that, uh, that are usually going to want to push their way against that board this ribbon cable here for the front loop sensor it's one of them the blue wire here from the charging plates can easily be be um, inserted in there to where it's laying like this uh, against contacts on the main board and over here you got these red blue and black wires coming up from your power switch under the mower that's one that we see laying against there a lot of times so you want to make sure that everything is turned and twisted to keep a gap there. You don't want it laying against that board because what we've seen is uh, some of them where, you know, they're out in heavy rain or whatever the whatever the reason was that they got some condensation to build up inside the mower. And right where the wire was touching against the component, that condensation, that moisture, it just never dried out. And that caused corrosion on the board. That was enough to short out that one component and cause issues for the mower. So again, whenever you do anything, make sure you keep it clean in there. Keep everything away from touching the main board to avoid those further headaches down the road. That's something that, uh, you know, you guys doing the DIY, you know, wheel motor swaps and stuff like that at home, replacing batteries, keep that in mind. And all you dealers out there that are repairing this stuff under warranty or just because somebody brings it into you because they're not sure what they're doing, Make sure to keep those wires and cables away from the main board. When you go to seal everything back up on the bottom of the mower, 
you want to make sure that you have everything cleaned off really well around those holes where your wires are going to go through the lower chassis of the mower. So you can see here this gray area is where we cleaned it off. Obviously, this is what it looks like back here. Um, you know, that's how much of a difference it is between us cleaning it up and what was there. So what you're going to do is, of course, plug your connectors together, push them down in, and then you're going to pop the grommet in there, and you want to make sure that it gets seated evenly the whole way around. And that one there is sitting really flat. You can tell that. But what I like to do is just kind of give them a little twist to make sure that they're not going to pop up out of there or not going to go crooked on you. That way you know that it is seated down in there properly. Now, in the case of one like, <clears throat> excuse me, this one here on the headlight harness that was all dirty, uh, it was packed full of dirt down in there, realistically, that should be replaced. And they don't offer that as a separate part, uh, so you're going to have to replace the entire headlight harness, and that is not cheap to do. Uh, that's a bit of an expensive piece, you know, when you consider you just need the, the grommet. So that's something to take into consideration. I know there's people out there that will do some other stuff to uh, help this seal up better, despite there having been dirt in there. That's great. I can't go ahead and tell you that because I'm not going to be responsible for any damages that happen to the inside of your mower because uh, you tried to put some kind of schmutz on this bushing or reuse this old bushing and, uh, it, and it failed on you. So best way to do it is to replace this. And again, currently the only way to replace this is to order the entire um, wiring harness that it's on. It'd be the same way if it was with your charging plates uh, or your ultrasonic sensors. The only way you get these grommets is they come already on the wires. But wanted to point that out so you can think about that uh, and not go ahead and just put the old one back in there and then have the same issue all over again. You know, you want to make sure that you get everything fixed right the first time so you don't have to go through this and go through the downtime and shell out extra money out when uh, it could have easily been avoided. Same goes for this one here, this plug here. You know, this one you can actually get separate. So not a big deal there to replace it. But um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the cause on this mower for the corrosion issues on the main board. Obviously, there's other places where the water can get in there or the moisture can get in. Uh, we have a video out there showing you how to replace the bellow, which is the uh, rubber boot on your, your cutting disc here underneath there. Looks like, a, looks like an accordion, this piece right here. So check that video out, and we're going to have a couple more coming up to show you what to do to prevent this kind of uh, disastrous issue from happening to your mower. And it's just little stuff that you can take care of at home there, and you can check out to make sure it's good. So any of these parts that you're looking for, they're available at roboticmowerservices.com. Uh, if you can't find a part you're looking for for your auto mower and you checked on roboticmowerservices.com, you didn't see it on there, Send us an email to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and we'll try to get you fixed up. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and thanks for watching.